Hello there, I'd like to now demonstrate on how easy it is to couple up a car and a caravan. So the first area I'm going to come to um, is to attach or just to quickly engage that breakaway cable. The breakaway cable is attached onto the bottom of the handbrake as you can see as it moves and uh, should the vehicle's park company for whatever reason that should apply the handbrake in an emergency. Um, there's no right or wrong way for where this goes really but this is a carabiner clip and on with a carabiner clip you can either clip it back onto itself like so or if there's an eyelet provided somewhere further on down on the tow bar you can connect it into that eyelet should you wish to. I personally, this is just my personal taste, like to put it around the tow ball like so. Next thing is to now get the ball, the hitch to engage onto the tow ball. Uh, I'm using the jock wheel assembly to do so and I just need to probably give it a little bit of a waggle to get it on or and break off a little bit, there it goes, just need to travel it on. Uh, so, with the jockey wheel assembly, it's got a cutout, as you can see, between the outer and inner shafts, and you wind it down so that that bit goes into each other. And if you put it into that location, just give it a nice tighten up, and then raise it up like so, that should not fall down in transit. So now I've uh, locked it up like so. Handbrake can come off, as this is engaged, as it as the coupling head came in contact with the tow ball, this handle has retracted down into a horizontal plane. And I've got a green indicator here showing that the handle uh, has located correctly. And also if I lower the stabiliser down, you might be able to see it, but there's a little bit of a green ring now showing just there on that head. Um, and that's just again saying that uh, the ball has engaged into the coupling head correctly. The stabiliser arm itself, as long as I've got resistance between number one and number two, means I'm putting tension onto that tow ball. So it's a wear indicator on the Alco hitch coupling. And I'm now taking this 13 pin plug and I'm going to locate it on this vehicle on that uh, into that socket. Uh, but I want to first off make sure that this lug, this lug that's on the inner edge, inner circle edge, uh, is at 90 degrees to that flat there all right so just show you what what can happen Bear with me a minute. when you actually take these items in and out of the sockets you might not have retracted it correctly and you can see that this inner inner piece has come out of line from 90 degrees so with this tool I've removed the th three lugs which hold in place with a carefully with a Stanley knife or a chisel and that allows me to bring that back into the right location as you can see Bring that over the top of the coupling head. The lug goes in the six o'clock position, down so like so. That's in the nine o'clock location. And then you rotate the outer connection to make it so that when that comes across, that's in 12 o'clock and that goes neatly over the top to hold it in place. So that's the 13 pin coupling. And then you notice on this, I've now got a green flashing light on what is the active trailer control. Uh, the green flashing light's not a problem, I've just got to travel a slight distance for uh, that to actually be fully set. So it's only a case of just travelling about 50 yards of braking and that, that would, should become a good, solid green light. So solid green's good. A flashing green is not a bad thing, don't worry about it, you've just got to travel a bit further. If it was a solid red, that's not bad, but a flashing red, you don't travel. Uh, there is an issue with the ATC and that's uh, when you need to take some advice from uh, from somebody, uh, service centres and things like that, because uh, there may be an issue with that ATC. And we'd probably recommend then that that ATC may need to be dis disconnected, but it's quite an easy process, but not something we're going to cover today. Right, so that's how you couple on. If I'm actually going to take this vehicle off now, uh, it's in the opposite direction. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the handbrake on. I don't want to obviously lose the caravan. Next thing I'm going to do, is just load the jockey wheel down to the ground like so and carefully clamp it up. Okay, so I've just tightened that handle up like so. Next bit, stabiliser. Next bit, take the 13 pin plug out. Well, you see I've rotated that through the full 90 degrees. So that's nicely in, in the correct location. You can pull that out too early if you're not careful. Right, hold the coupling handle in the upright position like so and then use the jockey wheel assembly to carefully raise it up. And as it starts to come up, just taking the pressure off, there it goes, it should come off 
the tow ball quite easily. And then just remove that breakaway cable, put that somewhere safe. So just to mention a couple of other products, I did touch very quickly on what uh, we've got the ATC system here, which is Active Trader Control made by Alco, who's the chassis manufacturer. Uh, it is an electronic braking system. Uh, there's sensors built uh, around about the axle area in a box that sense when the vehicle starts to snake slightly. Uh, it senses that movement as you're traveling on the road. What that then does is electronically apply the caravan brakes. It's very quiet, it's, uh, you don't notice it, it's very gradual. Uh, it just gets the vehicle so it pulls it straight. Once it's got that vehicle straight, the brakes are then released. So ATC is an electronic braking system just to uh, stop snaking from occurring or, or reduce it. And it just makes overtaking vehicles a little bit more uh, well, user friendly, I'll say. Right. Also on this particular model, uh, all on uh, the coachman vehicles right now, I believe is coming through with the Alco's automatic uh, adjustment to the braking system. Uh, this is new for this year for, our, for ourselves on Coachman. Uh, this being a 2021 model that we're de now dealing with. Uh, so it's the premium braking system that they've got. And it's basically they're self-adjusting brakes. So uh, it makes our servicing side a little bit easier. Uh, but yes, they'll uh, as brake wear goes, if you're doing a lot of mileage in a season, then those brakes are adjusting all the time to give you the correct pressure. Thank you very much.